So we are given a sleeve A of mass M, which is attached to a spring. So this is the sleeve and its mass is M and it is attached to a spring. The spring stiffness is K and the whole system is rotating with an angular velocity of omega. So this rod on one end of which with there is spring and a sleeve. So this whole thing is rotating with angular velocity omega. So this is the top view of the same thing. We need to find the elongation of the spring and how is the result affected by the rotation direction. So he has not given the length L of the, the initial length of the spring. So let's assume that because in the answer, what is given is delta L by L. So this is what we need to find. So let's do that. Let's assume the initial length to be L and the elongation to be delta L. So we can, you can imagine that this sleeve is rotating in a circle around this point. So this sleeve is going through a circular motion, which means its acceleration is directed towards center. And its value of course is omega square r. Now the sleeve will have two forces. So one is the spring force, which is upwards. And second is the normal reaction. So normal reaction must be towards left and spring force must be towards top. But finding normal reaction might be tricky. So we and we need to find the spring force. So let's talk about forces in this direction only. So we'll take the component of acceleration also in this direction and write f is equal to ma. So in y direction, only force is spring force. So we can write f y is equal to ma y in this direction. And the spring force is k delta L. So initial length was of the spring was L and after it's become stretched, the total length becomes L plus delta L. And force of course is k delta L. So the only force in this direction is k delta L and its acceleration in this direction is A cos theta. So theta is not given, we are just assuming it to be a variable for now. So let's write our equation. So k delta L is equal to m A cos theta. So A is omega square R. Now you can see R cos theta is L plus delta L. So we replace that and this will be our new equation. And if we divide L everywhere, so we can find the value of delta L by L, which will be m omega square by k minus m omega square, our answer. Now, is the result affected by the direction of rotation? So it won't because you can imagine here that the circular radius this sleeve is traveling still remains the same. Omega also remains the same. So it's acceleration directed towards center that also remains the same, which means its component in the y direction that also does not change. So nothing in this equation changes if you just reverse the direction of omega. The acceleration is same and the extension is also same. So your result is also going to be same. All right.